Hello, my name is Wayne Compton. I've uh, had a lot of requests to make videos and stuff I do around the shop, so I thought I'd give this a try. Uh, today, I put a four link suspension in my Nova, so I need to cut this nine inch down to fit under it. Uh, I took a bunch of measurements, got them all written down. I won't bore you with that. Um, I've cut the axle flange, the bearing, off the rear end already. So I need to cut this down to size so I can weld the new, the new bearing flanges on. And we'll do that here in a minute. I've got this jig here I bought from Lead Mine Products. You can go there and check them out. This makes the measuring a whole lot easier to get what you need. Uh, like I said, I've already got the numbers written down here. So I'll uh, mark this out. I put tape there so I can draw on it real easy and get this cut out. I just want to double check. So being the 9 inch has an offset pinion, you're going to have one side a little longer than the other. You always want to make sure you uh, take into account for all that. What I'll do it here is take a piece of mylar plastic and wrap around the tube so I can keep the line straight. Just so we can draw a line all the way around, keep it as straight as we can, make a nice cut. Now all we're going to do is cut these lines. So I'll uh, try to speed this up in the, the end so you ain't got to sit through all of it. So I got those tubes cut off. Get my jig back on here. Double check all my measurements. Get my alignment bar in. And uh, we'll get back at it. Alright, I've got these tubes cleaned off now so I can get the four link brackets in place. I'll slide them on loose. And then I can get the, the jig back in place and start lining up these bearings.
this long rod shoves through here keeps everything aligned while you uh, weld it all in place Slide the bearing housings on the sides, right on the rod. Now everything's right in line, so you know your axle's going to be straight, no binding there. While well, I had it apart, I ground the end of the housing. That way we can get good penetration on the weld all the way around. And I'll show you more of that here in a minute. Now everything's lined up. We start doing a few tacks here and there. Hold it all in place. And then we can do our full fillet weld all the way around. All right, what I've got here is I've tacked it in four places and I let it cool between every tack weld uh, just to make sure everything stayed moving smooth there. Before I tacked it in place, I had marked the bearing end and the housing where I wanted the uh, bearing end to set. That way, uh, when I started welding it, it uh, stayed in the right place. Uh, so I've got it set on these angle irons here. I'm going to roll it as I weld. That way I can just keep one solid weld all the way around. This makes for a cleaner look at the end. Okay, there we go. We've got one weld all the way around. Nice and slick. Looks good. Still spins smooth. So I'll go ahead and uh, hit the other side. Okay, so now I've got the bearing housings welded into place. I went in and did a couple passes on both sides. And with everything still in place there, the rod spins nice and smooth. So we know everything's in line. There won't be no binding on our axles. I've got the brackets still loose for the four link, but I'll do another video on that later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my axles on the way. So I downloaded this sheet. This one's from Strange. You can get them from anybody. Uh, just fill out all the information on the sheet and to make sure your axles are the right length. 
this kit here comes with this uh, plate just slides right on there just makes it easier for you to measure the stuff so uh, if you want to check those guys out and then uh, I'm gonna make a couple more videos so if you got any uh, comments or ideas on another video let me know make sure to uh, share and and like this video and uh, we'll keep them coming thank you